Welcome to another episode of JK Michael's Knowledge Series. Today we will be talking about business analysis. Our focus will be on discussing the overview and the key areas of business analysis. This will be an introduction to business analysis and it will enable comprehension on the broader level of the principles, best practices and application of business analysis concepts. What is business analysis? Business analysis is the practice of enabling change in an enterprise by defining the needs and recommending solutions that provide value to stakeholders. Business analysis enables an enterprise to articulate needs and the rationale for change and to design and describe solutions that can deliver value. Business analysis is performed on a variety of initiatives within an enterprise. Initiatives may be strategic, tactical, or operational. Business analysis may be performed within the boundaries of the project or throughout enterprise evolution and continuous improvement. It can be used to understand the current state, to define the future state, and to determine the activities required to move from the current to the future state. A business analyst is a person who, irrespective of his or her job role or title, performs the tasks described in the Babok Guide. The activities that the business analyst perform include, number one, understanding enterprise problems and goals. Number two, analyzing needs and solutions. Number three, devising strategies. Number four, driving change. And number five, facilitating stakeholder collaboration. This means that if you held the job titles of business architect, business systems, and Analyst, data analyst, enterprise analyst, management consultant, process analyst, product manager, product owner, requirements engineer, and system analyst, you have performed the functions of a business analyst. Certification in business analysis. When you decide to become a business analyst, it will often be recommended that you get certified by a reputable certification body. Some of the most prominent benefits of being certified in business analysis for you as an individual will include number one, employees seek individuals with business analysis certification. Number two, you get to possess desirable skills that enable business advancement. Number three, it enhances your career prospects and adds to your certification portfolio. Number four, competent business analysis knowledge and understanding is bestowed. Number five, you become a successful business analyst. Number six, you analyze processes to determine where and how changes need to be made effectively. Number seven, you demonstrate commitment to the career path of business analysis. Number eight, you choose a specific course that suits you. Now, kinds of business analysis certification. There are two prominent business analysis certifications available. They are the PMI Professional in Business Analysis, also known as the PMI PBA. The PMI PBA is offered by the PMI, which is an American-based certification body. Introduced first in 2014, the PMI PBA is one of the most prestigious certifications in business analysis. The PMI PBA seeks to engage people that work with project teams and manage requirements or product development. It is also designed for project program managers who perform business analysis in their role. Fundamental requirement for the PMI PBA will include secondary school degree or a high school diploma or associate's degree equivalent, 60 months of business analysis experience, 35 contact hours of education in business analysis, or a bachelor's degree or the global equivalent, 36 months of business analysis experience, and 35 contact hours of education in business analysis. To obtain your PMI PBA certification, it will be required that you undertake a certification exam exam that has 200 multiple choice questions, you will be given 4 hours to complete the exams. To maintain the certification, you must earn 60 Professional Development Unit PDU, in Business Analysis Topics every 3 years. The exam fee for members is $405. Non-members, however, will be required to pay $555 to be eligible for the PMI PBA. The International Institute of Business Analysis. The second prominent business analysis certification offered, which also happens to be the most prestigious in the field currently is a Certified Business Analysis Professional, also known as the CBAP. The CBAP is offered by the Canadian-based International Institute of Business Analysis, also known as the IIBA. The CBAP is designed for individuals with significant experience in business analysis, individuals with a CCBA designation, product managers, non-BA consultants, hybrid business analysis professionals, including project managers, tech staff, quality assurance professional, change and transfer Informational managers and designers. The CBAP eligibility completed a minimum of 7,500 hours of business analysis work experience in the last 10 years. Within this experience, a minimum of 900 hours completed in four of the six public guide knowledge areas for a total of at least 3,600 of the required 7,500 total. Completed a minimum of 35 hours of professional development in the last four years. Provided two references, agreed to code of conduct, agreed to terms and 
and condition and pass the exams. The CBAB exam fee is approximately $650. Other certification programs offered by the IIBA include the Entry Certificate in Business Analysis, also known as the ECBA, which recognizes individuals ready to develop their business analysis skills, knowledge, and behavior as practicing business analysis professionals. There is also the Certificate of Capability in Business Analysis, also known as the CCBA, which recognizes skilled business analysis professionals who have two to three years of practical business analysis work knowledge. There is also the Certification of Capability in Business Analysis, also known as the CCBA, which recognizes skilled business analysis professionals who have two to three years of practical business analysis work experience. For this discussion, we'll focus on the Certified Business Analysis Professional, CBAP, which is of the highest cadre of the IIBA certification offerings. The CBAP curriculum introduces business analysis through the Bobo Guide, which is the official guiding manual for training and certifying business analysis professionals. The Babok recommends the principles and the best practices for performing business analysis. The Babok guide structures the body of knowledge into a framework that includes six knowledge areas, 30 tasks, five perspectives, 10 stakeholder categories excluding the BA, 29 underlying competencies, 50 techniques, four requirement classification schemes, and a model consisting the six business analysis core concepts known as the BACCM. The six knowledge areas of business analysis according to the Babok guide include business analysis planning and monitoring, elicitation and collaboration, requirements life cycle management, strategy analysis, requirements analysis and design definition, and solution evaluation. The 30 business analysis tasks are distributed between the knowledge areas. We look forward to seeing you in class so that we can continue our exposition on these concepts. And for my question, if you had to do just one certification on business analysis, which would it be and why would you go for this certification? Please enter your responses in the comment section. I will stop by to read your comments and might offer feedback if required. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button right at the bottom of this video. See you in the next video.